what's up everybody so yeah as you can see today I'm on a freaking airplane and um, flying to Constantinople wait they changed the name right it's East Istanbul so going to Turkey to Istanbul for the very first time and um, yeah Asus um, invited me for their reveal event for some brand new laptops I guess I'm not so sure at the moment but yeah this is gonna be a quick little vlog of sorts so hope you guys enjoy it and uh, yeah I try to show some stuff in the city as well and I'm staying in a pretty badass hotel <laughs> so yeah let's check it out what's there to see in Turkey with Asus Finally made it here to the venue uh, for Asus's uh, brand new products, uh, but I guess uh, some people have already seen them, so they're not gonna be like brand new stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, in Istanbul here, really nice weather, really nice city, loving it so far here. It's not maybe the warmest, I would say, like in Estonia it was warmer, uh, but overall really nice weather here. Uh, it's like 20 degrees or something like that, Celsius. And uh, yeah, some drones flying here. And I think the venue itself is like in that building, which is, uh, it, it, it doesn't have a roof on it. Hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> but anyway, let's, I'm gonna try and find some person to talk to a little bit about some products here. And uh, yeah, let's check out what Asus has brought here uh, to show the public or at least some people. Alright, so finally had a chance to find somebody from ASUS. So, Sasha, you're the uh, what's your exact position? Senior Global Technical Marketing Manager. You were looking for somebody from ASUS. You couldn't find anyone here. <laughs> no, you you had a really good speech on stage. Oh, okay. So I oh, thought you mean somebody technical. Yeah. Oh, okay. So anyway, I'm gonna try and ask some questions. You know, what are the brand, the best new features of this card read, the Hero read, the Strix model? Uh, the new Zephyrus lineup and uh, the mothership. All right, all right. So yeah, which uh, one do you want to start with? Hmm. Really, I think uh, people really want to know what are the best features of the. What is the mothership actually? Not not the best features. What is the mothership? Well, um, I think it's a really new take on desktop replacement. So. The way we came up with it is we went to a lot of people who bought desktop replacement laptops like the G703. Yeah, big we, laptops. Big, big laptops. Yeah. And we wanted to find out why do you buy big laptops and not a slimmer one like the Strix G703, GL703, GL704. Yeah. And um, we found that they still need that much performance or they want that much performance. And we found what they would really like is for it to be even closer to a desktop. They yeah. want it to feel more like a desktop. And they said they want the keyboard to be flat on the table, they want the screen to be closer, and they want to be able to maybe use their own keyboard. Yeah. And that's exactly how we came up with uh, Mothership. So Yeah, and as I saw you demonstrated there, yeah. it was really, I really loved that how you could, you know, separate the keyboard. It's, yeah. not, it's not like a tablet, but it's like a total powerhouse, like you can play proper AAA games on yeah. it, right? Yeah. 
and, and uh, do some heavy lifting, yeah, like heavy video lifting. editing, 3D rendering. Heavy lifting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can use your own keyboard, so you can actually change it yeah. out. Yeah. And you can. It's like a tablet, but like a proper, like a proper monster yeah, it's, tablet. It's like a 2080 Core i9 yeah. tablet. Yeah. And and it's all laid out there also, so it's using yeah. a special frame. Uh, to help it cool a little bit more and one extra little feature or really nice feature is that it's using liquid metal right right so it's not using thermal based it's using liquid metal and uh, they're they're using a special shroud uh, so the liquid metal would never you know seep out of it right Correct. and uh, yeah that's really nice to see here because it helps to keep the temperatures even lower and uh, another thing that i heard was that yeah, you guys could get the temperature down, but instead you uh, made a turbo button on it, Correct. so you can get 400 megahertz even more. Right. So th the way it works is in balance mode. We always try to find like a good balance between noise and temperatures and performance. Yeah. So in that mode, if you apply thermal metal, uh, liquid metal, your your thermals are going to improve. The system is going to be quieter and you get like 10 degrees lower temperatures. I mean, that's like the standard. Everybody knows yeah. liquid metal gives you like 10 degrees lower temperatures, yeah. right? But the cool thing is in turbo mode, we go full performance. In that mode, you actually get the same temperatures as normal thermal paste, but you're getting like 400 yeah. megahertz higher clock. So yeah. extra performance. So, I mean, first impressions, pretty, pretty darn nice. Uh, hope to get it in my hands soon-ish. Uh, when is it coming out? Do you know, have any idea? Uh, uh, pretty soon. It depends soon. on the country. Yeah. All right. And what was the display? Was it 144 hertz or something? We have two options: 144 hertz full HD and 4K 60 hertz G-Sync. And right. the 4K panel has 100% Adobe RGB, so it's really oh, nice for content creators yeah. as well. And that's also what you guys today talked about. Yeah. That you didn't wanna, you didn't want to put TN panels on your laptops. You want right. IPS right. with 144 hertz. Right. right. So that's really nice because you know yeah. proper colors do matter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you don't want to see bland colors in your AAA games. Right. So on the Zephyrus series where we focus more on work and play, work hard, play hard. It's a lot yeah. more about productivity. Yeah. Um, there we have Pantone validation as well for the panel. So 240 hertz plus G-Sync plus Pantone validation. So what's, uh, what's the deal with the new addition to the Zephyrus lineup? So uh, Zephyrus, we expanded quite a lot. We started with the GX501 originally, like yeah. uh, three years ago. And uh, we started with the GX501, then we introduced the GM501 with the standard keyboard position yeah, and yeah. more focus on battery life. Yeah. And then we replaced the GX501 with the GX531, which is even slimmer, only 14.9 millimeters. Slimmest 15 inch gaming laptop in the world with 2080. Then we introduced the GX701 with 2080 as well, slimmest 17 inch gaming laptop in the world. We refreshed those with the 9th gen CPUs as well, so we still have those. And now we're adding three more Zephyrus models, which is the GX502, the GU502, and the GA502. And what makes them so like new from those older models? So the GX502 replaces the GM501. So it's even lighter, has even okay. longer battery life, All over right. six hours Wi-Fi browsing now. Um, it's even lighter, under two kilos now, full magnesium chassis, the first gaming laptop in the world, full magnesium chassis. Yeah. And then the GU502 doesn't have AAS at the bottom, so you're only getting up to 2060. But as a result, it's around 150 grams lighter. So even lighter, only 1.8 kilos, 1.85 kilos. And did the Zephyrus has this new coating? Yes, yeah, it has it ha a very special coating um, that's like a... It's like a rubbery coating, yeah. but it doesn't feel it doesn't, rubbery. Yeah, it's really durable and it's it, durable. but it has a nice grip to it. I've, I've I've used some of uh, you know products that has similar stuff. Yeah, it starts to peel over time. Oh yeah, no, we have a, a really strict testing method for this to make sure it doesn't Ooh. happen. Oh yeah, I, I love that material. Yeah. I love it. I yeah. just I switched it out because things that I used not Asus's product yep. they started to peel yeah yeah I know I've, I've yeah. seen that as well on, All right. on a few so, products yeah. okay okay I'll, I'll do the stress test later yeah, yeah. so moving on we have two more uh, more models actually three models but let's try to make it quick here somehow so we have a new Strix models uh, right. the Hero and uh, Scar. The Scar, the Hero and the Strix G. Yeah, so what's the what's the deal with those? The Strix G, very simple, is uh, basically the lowest entry into the Strix series, into the Strix 3 series. So no nonsense, um, you just have all the core stuff, all the must-have stuff. You have a really nice panel, really nice CPU, really nice cooling. It improves yeah. a lot as well. And um, 
Then when you step up to the hero and to the scar, you get up to Core i9, up to 240 hertz, and you yeah, get uh, Keystone, which is really cool as yeah, well. Yeah, I saw. What's the deal with the Keystone? So oh, Keystone is our take on improving customization even further. So instead of having to change settings all the time, depending on what you do or who's using the system, yeah. you can just slide in the Keystone and but it like immediately applies... Like boost or overclock or something like that? Whatever you define, yeah. It, it immediately applies all the settings that you saved. And when you remove the Keystone, it basically sets everything back to the default one. Interesting. So yeah, it was like a magnetic key there. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the, the final one, we actually have stronger magnets, so it really okay. snaps in there. As soon All as right. you hold it close to there, it will just be pulled out of so your hands. That's only with SCAR 3, right? SCAR and HERO. And one special feature that I also noticed was like, you have a RGB line under the laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so looks really nice. we had a light bar before in the front, and now the light bar goes all, all the, way the way around. Yeah, so it, looks it, pretty it makes the whole badass. table glow. <laughs> it's very similar to our Balteo's mouse pad, or you probably know other mouse yeah, pads as well. I haven't seen the mouse pad. Oh, yeah? Is that new also? Uh, right? It's not new. No. It's not new. No. I didn't see it. This was the first time that I saw it's pretty Asus's cool, yeah. uh, mouse pad with RGB light. Really, really freaking nice. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's. Kinda it was there here to see in Istanbul, Turkey. It's my first time here. Yeah, and me too. It's really, How do you like really, it so far? It's really nice, huge, yeah. huge city. Kinda uh, resembles to Los Angeles because I've been there. Oh so yeah, it's with kinda, the bridge and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a uh, uh, huge city. And good food as well. And good food. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's about it. I'm not gonna bother you yeah. anymore. Nice to meet you. I think uh, your nice arms are getting really tired. My <laughs> arms are really... But <laughs> I went to the gym today. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Alright, so it's uh, 6 p.m. here in Istanbul. And uh, yeah, ASOS just finished their speech here. It's a pretty interesting... Really interesting place to hold a speech, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, kind of like my first vlogish uh, style video here and my first trip to Istanbul, my first trip to Turkey actually and it's been quite fun. I mean, I think we're going to head out on a similar ship any second now, I think, I'm not so sure uh, but if we are, maybe I'm gonna make a couple of uh, short clips more here but Overall experience has been absolutely wonderful. I uh, want to thank everybody at ASUS uh, Rock Department um, to, you know, get me he out here, right, to Turkey, Istanbul. And yeah, Istanbul is really, really, really beautiful place. Uh, really nice food here and stuff like that. Weather could be a little bit warmer. It's uh, actually warmer in Estonia than in Turkey, which is odd. Uh, but overall it's, it's still like a nice cozy 20 degree weather Celsius. Uh, but yeah, saw some Asus's brand new laptops like the Hero 3 and the SCAR 3, right? And the Zephyrus new lineup and the Mothership in person. And yeah, I have some thoughts, you know, uh, that I can, you know, uh, go around on my in my head right and uh, maybe when I finally get them to see if they've changed anything at all but overall it was pretty neat uh, really interesting uh, way to experience hardware before they actually release right uh, and yeah I mean the best part I guess was the rock mothership right which has which is like a big tablet right it's a big bulky tablet that doesn't have a touch screen but it's uh, pretty interesting because it's like a real powerhouse you can take it with you everywhere easily pretty much like a laptop but it's more like a desktop uh, PC than a laptop so 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 uh, need to test it out further but uh, overall pretty interesting uh, I li like to you know see companies like Asus you know improving and building something totally new out of the box so that was pretty neat and uh, yeah you can detach the little keyboard there and add your own keyboard right so yeah let's see uh, when it finally comes out how it performs but yeah overall yeah SCAR 3 and uh, Hero 3 as well has some pretty neat new features like the magnetic memory right or this, this little stick right uh, that you can you know save 
different RGB colors or profiles and even overclocking settings and stuff like that which is pretty neat for you know different family members although I don't know if multiple keys come with a single laptop which is odd I think they should add like four four sticks uh, with the laptop uh, and uh, yeah Zephyr is nice new coding as well on the uh, laptops which is like this rubbery feel this like a softer feel it's not plastic uh, so yeah will be interesting to test that out uh, for longer sessions for months to see if it starts to degrade uh, and you know become sticky or something like that but the Asus representative here said that that's not an issue they fixed all of that stuff so yeah will be interesting to test that out anyway that's uh, gonna conclude my quick little vlog video here hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, yeah my arm is falling off <laughs> holding the camera here but anyway yeah it was my first first proper event where I got to check out some technology that hasn't yet come out and uh, everything thanks to ASUS so thank you very much ASUS and uh, Republic of Gamers for getting me out here to Turkey Istanbul and yeah thank you for watching Hope to see you guys soon on my channel once again. See you. Alright, so finishing the day off here on board of a yacht that Asus organized, I guess. And it's really, really nice way to end the day here. Uh, have had a fantastic time here in Turkey, in Istanbul. And now just, you know, cruising on the sea here. Uh, you know, just seeing everything here and the sun is setting really freaking chill so huge uh, shout out uh, to all my friends at asus uh, asus rogue and um, yeah hopefully this is just a beginning of many many similar you know uh, trips all around the world to check out what asus has in store for, for us in the future and what i saw today it's pretty freaking amazing anyway thanks for watching see you later